Hi, today I will teach you an FX trick for adding glow in your animation. The process might be difficult, so that's why I decided to only deal with that topic. As a demonstration, I have chosen one of my recent study on Jujutsu Kaisen. For those who know my content, my approach to animate remains the same. I usually start to analyze the shot and progressively breaking down it on a sketch. After splitting the character in layers comes the step of cleaning and coloring. And only at the very last I start working on the ethics and compositing. If you're interested to have a look over the project file, the link will be in my description. It's free, so enjoy. For the matter of time and understanding, I simplified this demo with a focus on the eyes only. Obviously, at this stage, your animation should be over. After selecting your grease pencil object, an extra tab called FX will show up. Here, you can add various effects of your choice. To see it in real time, you have to be in object mode with the viewport shading set on render preview. By choosing glow, the entire grease pencil object will be affected. This is not what we are looking for. What we want is to apply this effect on a specific area, which seems impossible. So to fix it, Here's my solution. Duplicate your grease pencil object, select it, shift D, then right click to duplicate on place. Hide the original. On the copy, delete everything except the inner eyes color. And this for all the keyframes. My plan is to isolate them on a single grease pencil object and then applying the glow. The settings will depend to your liking. I invite you to experiment with the values and the choice of the glow color. But if you desire the exact same, here's mine. And hide the original because both grease pencil are overlapped you may not see the glow anymore. However, by selecting the glow eyes, you will make sure to deactivate first the auto king. Next, you are going to offset the eyes object in order to bring them a bit forward to the original. In object mode, select it, press G to move, then Y to lock on the Y axis. Then slide your mouse to push the object a bit forward until the glow effect appears. And you're done. This was my first stage for using the glow on my project. For the second stage, I'm going to enhance that effect through the compositing. And thanks to this video by Verivate, I was able to reach a more cinematic look. The link will be in my description, so feel free to check it out. To do this, you need to go to the compositing workspace. Then over here, tick use node to start a composition. You should get a render layer and a composite node on the viewport. I only add two nodes, the glare set on fog glow, which will emphasize the bright look and then the lens distortion for giving an aesthetic look with a slight chromatic aberration. Plug them one after the other and hit render to see the results. Again, don't hesitate to play with the values to build your own settings. Mine will be on the screen if needed or just grab the project file on my Gumroad for free. And that's pretty much it for my process of glow effect. 
I know this video was very specific and I hope you found that one very useful. Please do like, subscribe and don't hesitate to comment if you do have a better method. Thank you so much for your awesome support on this channel. Take care and until next time, cheers.